We're going to start this morning with the breaking news. Those fast moving development in Arkansas, which has now become the first state to carry out a double execution in 17 years. Two convicted murderers were put to death within just hours of each other, but not without some 11th hour legal maneuvers by a federal judge. ABC's Maggie Ruley joins us live now from the newsroom with the latest. Maggie. Good morning, Diane and Kendis. Jack Jones was executed around 720 yesterday evening, followed closely by Marcel Williams just a few hours later. Williamson's fate was touch and go throughout the night, his lawyer claiming that the execution of Jones earlier in the evening was inhumane, cruel, and caused the man an unusual amount of pain. And says both Jones and Williams were morbidly obese, he said the lethal drugs might also be ineffective. The state said these claims were false and ultimately went ahead with the execution. Now, Arkansas hadn't had an execution for nearly 12 years, but then the government realized that one of the drugs they use for lethal injections was set to expire on April 30th. So the governor scheduled four double executions in just 11 days. Four have been put on hold. One inmate was killed last week, and the last man is set to be executed on Thursday. Dan and Kendis, I have a feeling we'll be talking about this throughout the week. Yeah, yeah Maggie, I know one of the big issues is that these drugs that they use in the execution, at least some of them are kind of hard to come by. Why are they in such short supply? Diane, exactly. Well, more and more manufacturers are no longer allowing their drugs to be used in these executions. Many saying they're afraid of the PR backlash. And in the 31 states where executions are legal, delays are often common due to drug shortages. But this kind of rush to push executions like we're seeing in Arkansas is fairly rare. And if all eight executions had happened, it would have been the most in such a short time period since the U.S. Supreme Court reinstated the death penalty in 1976. Now, Arkansas keeps the identity of its drug suppliers a secret, so they're hoping that can help persuade drug companies to still work with them. But they admit that even with that secrecy, the state says it still has difficulty getting those lethal drugs. Diane right. and Candace. We're going to see how mm -hmm. all of this plays out as the day goes on because one of those executions sounded in particularly gruesome there, Maggie. Thank you.